What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know you guys are probably like, damn, we didn't post the wheels. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you probably already seen it. Um, we got the E36 uh, E87s. We wrapped it on Falcon. Shout out Gabe. Shout out Henry uh, from Supreme Power for getting me the wheels. Uh, so we went ahead and mounted it. I was very hesitant because I did some really rigging type stuff. Uh, go into the comments and tag L Adam LZ and let him know, like, send me my coils. I wasn't going to put the wheels on at first because, like, I don't have any suspension. It's on, like, some Bilsteins and H&R Springs or something. And I was just like, oh, man, this is not going to look good. It's going to be all off. But I'm not really driving the car. And I just, like, cut the springs just to see what it looked like. I'm not driving it. So I went ahead and cut it just for right now. I'm not driving the car. I just wanted to see what it would look like a little bit lowered. Obviously, I got to, like, massage it out and dial everything in. But... Tag Adam LZ and say, can you send Chewy, a.k.a. Loy, his coils so we can get this thing dialed in? But let's go. Let me go ahead and show you the vehicle, do a little V-roll, and show you what's up. Boom. Here we go. E87s on the E36. Drop them comments to show me how you think it looks. Like I said, we're not fully dialed in with the suspension yet because like I can tell you it's kind of a rig how we have it right now. Um... Tag Adam, tell him hurry up and send my coils. You know, I think the car looks great. I just drove it today because I was just like, damn, this thing looks too good. The fitment's like right there. Obviously, I need to put a little bit of camber on it once I get the coils in. And we'll go ahead and put the alignment on. The rear is where it needs a lot. It's not bad. But I'm going to definitely have to shape the rear a little bit. Car looks perfect right now. But uh, yeah, let me give you a little V roll. <laughs> Jumping, I be counting all these bands, okay, look I done fucked the model bitches out of bands, okay, look I can't fuck with none of them fake niggas again, okay, look Diamonds like some stripper bitches, they gon' dance, okay, look, uh Okay, look, mm, okay, look, uh Okay, look, mm, okay, look, uh So if you saw my last build, you already know that I'm a really meticulous person When it comes down to things And with this E36, I got a lot of trim pieces that I want to put on the car And it also does need some a little bit of a paint touch-ups um, my buddy at European Auto Collision Center, he's gonna, he's out here in Miami, one of the best painters. He's gonna end up doing uh, some stuff for me, like touching up some stuff and reinstalling new trims, everything, you know, to make the car very pristine. Like I said, the, the, the goal is to get this car to Headland this year in May. Uh, it's supposed to be a really big turnout. A couple of my friends went last year. I'll drop the video from that. If you haven't, if you don't know about what it is, it's a big car show up in the top of Georgia in the mountains. It's a whole city full of Euro cars really cool turnout and that's what my goal is this year to get this car to go and i got four more months left to get it there um let me show you already uh what we're going to be changing you know e36 problems these all go bad these seals so i'm going to be changing all, all that um all this stuff right here i got these new trims new this new trim new all that new front window trim new as well this one's all beat uh, I'm trying to decide if I should run DTM mirrors or I should run these mirrors. Let me know what you guys think as well. This is the only paint flaw that I have in this car is the roof is chipping. That's why I'm taking it to my buddy because it's all original car from California. And I'm going to go ahead and rechange this out. Not rechange it, but I'm going to repaint this over the roof. And they're going to be ended up blending it out. This trim we're changing as well. I got this brand new as well. If you didn't see in the last video, I did get brand new OEM tails. Uh, I'm changing out that bottom bottom bumper trim as well. The diffuser for the back. Esty, what's up? Esty says he has a LT a lightweight badge to give me to put on. I put brand new side markers already. I need to go install my ZKW headlights. Put new corner lights, new grills. Uh, ordering a Turner Motorsports front lip, and that's pretty much it. And then the interior which I gotta get to. It's not bad. The headliner's kind of coming down and then this driver's seat's torn. Besides that, everything is good, man. I love this car. And it's like, it's all coming together little by little. So we'll see what's up. Tune into the channel. 
Like I said, drop a comment for Adam. Tell him hurry up and send my coilovers so we can get this thing on rails, you know? But I'm excited for this. And who knows? We might end up turboing next year. I don't know. Everybody's telling me to keep it stock because it's all original car. But this car needs the moon map. If you follow my channel before, you know me. I love driving little 500 horsepower cars. And this car would rip with an S52 turbo.